Well, hello there! It's that time again! Yes! Yes! Once again, time for the blog that truly blazes here on this beautiful, hot, but beautiful day of May 17th, Friday, in South Florida. As usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and most importantly, what lies ahead of us at the end of this week. So do stay tuned. It's going to be interesting. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now this card was the Ten of Discs, or Pentacles, if you're used to the Rider Waite terminology. And it's a pretty neat card. Entitled Wealth, it's Mercury and Virgo, it's Manifesting. It's manifesting by paying attention to detail, by having put energy and effort into something, we finally manage to manifest results. Now, how major that manifestation was would depend upon how much energy you had put into its creation, okay? So this could be a big influx of wealth, or this could just simply be completing a project, something that you have been putting effort into for a while, and it finally came together and got done. But it's a beautiful energy. It gives you a sense of settlement, a sense of manifestation, of having achieved something. And we have more positive energy coming up as we proceed through the week. That's right. The next card, the card we're coming into the present, is a Four of Wands. Four of Wands, entitled Completion, attributed to Venus and Aries, is a whole idea of closing a chapter in a book and opening up another one. So we're ending a phase of our lives and beginning a new phase. This could be shifting one from, from one project to another. This could be a major change in your life that puts you in a whole different direction. How the energy manifests depends upon you, which way your energies are supposed to go, your astrological configuration, your free will, uh, your guides and masters, a lot of things come into play with this, but definitely there's a strong shifting of energy. And it makes sense when you've completed something like with the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Discs, to have that energy kind of like grounded and settled, then you go ahead, pick up, and go in a whole new direction. So you may find yourself starting something new. Now that you've ended something, you may start something different. Or you may just give up uh, a negative phase of your life, negative energy, you may move out of that and go ahead and move forward. Venus is creativity, Aries is drive and initiative. So definitely there's going to be a strong creative initiative as we go through the beginning of next week. And then the third and final card is not bad at all. It's the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands is very strong, very powerful, very dominant. This is Leo energy. This is our ability to stand up against obstacles. Because I also had the feeling, now i got to be honest with you, we may have some obstacles that we face during the week, especially towards the end of next week, but we overcome those by our personal strength. We overcome those by perseverance, pride, personal empowerment. And that's what the Queen of Wands represents. So we're going to find ourselves full of creative energy. We may find ourselves facing some challenges, but we overcome those challenges through the force of persistence, creativity, and adjusting ourselves to life circumstances. So all in all, an empowering and powerful week. Well, there you go. The blog blazed. As usual, you blazed with it. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much for supporting my blog. And until I see you next week, many, many blessings.